Hello, welcome in Sagittarius to Robin's Realm Readings. I welcome you back. This is a reading for December. I've been having some issues with my neck, so sorry for the delay. I am getting ready to see what love brings your way. How does it look? Where is it going? Who's involved? And what you should know, okay? Give me a quick second to start your reading with a blessing. And then I'm going to clear your cards. I'm calling in energies of air, fire, water, earth, Holy Spirit, and ether, magic, to help me to read for my Sagittarians at this time. Take a deep breath. Believe in yourself. I'm going to tap into your energies and see what shows up, what you need to know. Beautiful angels of the living God, help us to be as positive as we can and get as accurate messages as we possibly can for our beautiful Sagittarians. Okay, one minute. Are you not working, dude? What a waste. All right, let's get on with it. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on, my beautifuls. Welcome, welcome in. Welcome into my channel. Welcome back if you're coming back. Let me do something for you real quick before I read. I just finished Scorpio's and it's pretty intense. Sagittarius. Clear this energy for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cross watchers are welcome on my channel. Be courteous. If you're here, please hit the like button. Don't sit and watch a whole video. Oh, by the way, at the end, I'm going to have you and everybody else so you can see how you're going to get along with everybody this month. All right? I got to clear your cards right now. Holy Spirit, help me to clear and to read for my Sagittarians at this time. No residual energies, no love messages, no energies blocking whatsoever. On my beautiful Sagittarians reading. I love you very, very much, my Saggies. I have very, very uh, good... I wish I could be around you a lot more. I love you very much, your tender hearts and your sacredness. You're very special to me, okay? I love you very, very much. Here we go. Clean these up now. This is the uh, new deck I got from a friend, a love gift. Um, they are the Tarot, Tarot of Wonderland, so they're very special to me. These are the outcome cards. They've got to be clear. No weapon formed against us prospers. No messages, no false messages, no false information. Get us as accurate information guides as we possibly can for my Saggies. No interferences. And a, and a word from the Lord to help stabilize your spirit and your, your faith. Okay? Let's see what we have going on, loves. Thank you, spirit. It's you're here with my Sagittarians. Someone rising Venus, my beautifuls. Let's see. Sagittarius, someone rising Venus. This table, I swear. Sagi, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, my beautiful Sagittarians. What's going on? Just, whoa. Well, we have um, finances and careers and attraction. Yes. Nice start. We like it. We like where you're going. Show us Sagittarians energy, Holy Spirit. Show us Sagittarians love energies for December. Show us what's going on in the world. Getting to know each other. Good. Communications are happening. Yes, good. Revealing your parts of yourself. Being vulnerable for a little bit. In some cases, not all of you, because some of you are still healing. Keep going. Sagittarius, give us what's going on so we can read it to them. Thank you for being here. I'm not doing your traditional... Um, that's too many. I'm not doing the traditional uh, Celtic cross right now. I'll save that for the middle of the month or something. Right now, we want to see what's going on in love because it's the holidays. Our emotions are all over the place. Our minds are all over the place. And we're trying to make sense of the restrictions and the uh, expectations around us. And then love comes in into play in our relationships. Who comes first? What comes first? What comes first is if you have true love and you're spending time getting to know someone. Oh, my God. It could be someone from the past if they're forgiving. That could also be family. That could be also you showing a great uh, amount of um, experience in forgiveness because it's a superpower. You just let it go from yourself and you let that person go and you don't hold the energy. You don't hold them in a place like, you owe me, bitch. 
You know, that's maturity when you don't have to have that energy. And that's a godly characteristic. And I'm seeing divine uh, energy in this reading. Holy Spirit, thank you that you're giving me divine energy for my beautiful Sagittarians. Make sure, make sure romantic feelings, they are making sure. Wow, I like it a lot. This is good. Oh, at the bottom of the deck, releasing an axe as well. Okay, that's definitely, and then it's safe for you to love Sagittarians. So go with that, man. That's, that's really good stuff. Let's take a look then. Let's get a primary love message out of this. Whoops, my, my sweater hooked on this. Oh, this is kind of gritty. It's the cutest wrapping paper I ever found. I grabbed it real quick. I think it was Target. Okay, there's a primary message about from the or love oracles. Let's see what they say to my Sagis. Friendship. Ooh. So nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship, and your love life will dramatically improve. Getting to know each other, nurturing this attraction and romantic feelings, forgiving and learning. Could be someone from the past, but it could also be someone new. So we'll find out. Okay? So I'd like for you to show us uh, the lesson here, the messages, the energies that come forward for Sagittarians when it comes to forgiving and learning. What is this? Who is this? Who is this they're dealing with? Sagittarius, someone rising Venus. Show me spirit. I have a new mic on, and I'm sorry if it's too loud or whatever. Forgive me. All right. Tell me about forgiveness in my Sagittarians. Tap me in. Cross watchers. Listen, I don't know how this plays out in your scenario. Like I always say, it's going to come out because the guys want, the prophets want to speak to you. They use some of us and you get these messages in advance. You have to tap in intrinsically from within. Does it apply to you or does it not? Is it your scenario? Is it healing? Is it something that will make you feel good and get you into the next stage? Is it a real true healing message? Tap into that knowledge so that you feel safe when you are uh, releasing negative energies and forgiving so that you're completely aware and conscious of what you're doing. Forgiving and learning who? It's a... Uh, you didn't get justice from someone. They just could not bring it forth. Justice is in reverse. Something caused you injustice in your experience. Maybe someone. Could be a Libra. However, when I did Libra's reading, you guys showed up as a positive energy in their life. Interesting. Okay. And um, forgiving and learning. Going to, learning how? Going to the Aharfant. Going to the your faith going to someone that can help encourage you, help you to um, learn how to forgive. Go there and you root yourself down in your faith and say, listen, I accept things as they are. So since I'm accepting things as they are, I'm going to release it. I'm going to let God have this bull crap. I, I can't carry this weight around and I sure don't want them feeling like they can come and do that again to me. Not happening. If I change my ways the way I believe something, then it'll completely transform. That is exactly the laws of the universe. Tell me about that, please, for Sagis. See, because you will not be able to get healing with someone. You have to forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. That's the sun in reverse is someone who's not fully healed. They don't know how. They may never. You have to forgive this person. Could be a Leo. All right. Let's talk about attraction for my Sagis. Sagittarius, who are you attracted to or who's attracted to you, my loves? Ooh, okay, now you got a ton of people checking you out, sexy. Look at that, seven of cups. Ooh, people are fantasizing somewhere. Yes, they are. And they're like in a dream state. Like, I have, I have been looking for you for a long time. They're watching. You're catching the eye of a lot of people. You're very attractive this month. I'm digging it. And, um, there's no time to wait around right now. You've done your healing. You're forgiven. You're healed. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You're, um, you're not so sure. Let's clarify that. Four of swords in reverse for attraction. Because five of pentacles, you fell out in the cold. And now you're, being, you're looking at all your options. Who is attracted to me? Who is not? Some of you put a, an earth sign out. Or they put you out, and it's a lesson. 
that you had to le learn to forgive. And you're rebuilding up your attraction, your self-love again. Releasing that X. Yeah? Look at this. Ace of Wands in reverse. You're not giving them your energy at all. You're protecting it. Good for you. Now, let's see. You're not going to go at things from the old-fashioned way. You don't think that love can be attained through sex. But they did. And that, that's where the failure came in with somebody. See, it puts a lot of burdens on you. So here's what you're doing. Uh, someone's trying to break down your walls. They're trying to break down your walls. Why? So that they can come and visit with you. They're attracted to you. They want you. But I don't think they're going to give you something really, really sound. This is a page. And this is a night, and this is like the F boy type coming in to just get booty cow. They're attracted. Just because they're attracted doesn't mean it's going to be healthy for you, Saggies. Let's see. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Digging on you though. They're digging on you. You're sexy as hell right now. But your your attraction isn't just in your sex appeal right now. It isn't. It's it's in your ability to keep your cool, to hold yourself together, to love yourself. You are rocking the bods. And the attraction is in the fire. It's like a fire that you have around your body um, and it glows. So you're highly, you're attracting a lot of people. Sorry, bear with me. I dropped my um, cards and that's not cool. Sadly, sorry for the, sorry for the interruptions. Let's take a look. Sagittarius, someone rising in Venus. I think you're going to think really good, really hard about this person that's not offering you anything. And even though there is attraction here, I don't think that you are, um, they're watching you. Okay, they're watching you. They want to give this to you, but I don't think that their intentions are pure, whoever that is. It could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. It could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. And so they're digging on you, right? What are they going to do? Let's get, get go forward on that. They're not going to offer this cup. You don't love them. You're done. So that's the one that you're releasing, okay? And forgiving and learning. Releasing. All right, so that's the energy of releasing. Let me put that aside then. And we'll get on with it. And we'll get on with the rest of your reading. And we'll see the good things that are going on for you, okay? Sagittarius, someone rising in Venus. We have getting to know each other. It's safe for you to love this true love that's coming or here um, there's romantic feelings so there's something already existing within you tell me about safe to love for Sagittarians this time for December 2021 who is this what does it show up as for them thank you Holy Spirit that you love them so much well you have someone coming in who's going to try to get your attention it's the King of Wands Aries Leo Sagittarius what is he going to, what's his intentions, really? Wow, they keep flying out of my hands. These cards do not want to stay. Remember I just told you about this, this person wanting to come in? They're going to try to get your attention. They are offering a small offer, but I don't know if you really want to take them up on it. I don't know. I think it's up to you whether you do or do not. Do you? Getting, you know, it's safe for you to love, but does that mean you want to take that one, right? You got plenty of choices. No, you're you're very much in your uh, heart space. You could be talking with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces right now, getting to know them and opening up because they're soft enough to reach. Tell me about this Queen of Cups for my Sagittarians. She is showing up as um, Six of Cups, a love. A true love, you might not. You might recognize these. Yeah, can't even talk. Um, this is someone from a past life, perhaps, a past situation, a child, someone you've known a long time, someone who's been watching you that you didn't even know was watching you, that has known you a long time, and they feel like you're their real true love. Cancer Scorpio Pisces person, and it may not be, you see, you're fussing here with this King of Wands who only wants a booty call and only wants to come in with the Page of Cups. It's like, the fuck that's not even a relationship that's not even a good friendship because all you're bringing me is a fish in this cup there's something missing something in it there's some kind of poison so watch out for this king of wands there could be poison in that cup but in the meantime you're watching your heart and you're spending it with people you love tell me about this true love 
Ace of Swords. You know it. You're going to see it real quick. You've seen it real quick or you've experienced it like a sudden shock, a sudden reality. Someone that's just right for you. Someone that tells the truth. Someone that's divinely appointed by God. Ace of Truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And they're going to bring healing to your life and wholeness. And some of you have gone through. It's going to make you feel like a rebirth of a relationship or yourself even, right? Romantic feelings for Sagittarius in the month of December. Stick around because I'm doing you and every other sign in just a minute. Romantic feelings. Look at that. The Fool. A brand new start with someone. Brand new energy. You have a chance to decide which direction you want to go. Be very careful and listen to your spirit animals. That could be Aries, Taurus. Could be anyone, but I think it's you. Tell me about this Fool energy and my beautiful um, Sagittarians. Who does the fool represent in their life? Please show me, please, spirit. Thank you. The fool represents, oh, oh my God. One second, you guys. I got an issue with my neck and I keep pulling my head back. Uh, okay, romantic feelings for a fool, but the fool is someone that uh, you meet instantly. You have an instant connection. The Tower, Scorpio. You have romantic feelings for a Scorpio. And they don't even know you're there, Seven of Cups. Or oh, either that or they've chosen you. What are they doing? Three of Cups in reverse. They're not coming forward right now, but they really, when they do, um, they're working. Scorpios are really working hard right now, making money, trying to plant. Um, I don't know. Huh. So we have all uh, the romantic feelings for some of you. For Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you want to build with. Someone you met quickly and suddenly that is, or an Aries or a Taurus, that is, um, they're deciding on you. They're not playing. This means I'm not playing. I'm not playing with you. I really am serious. That's what that means. I'm really serious. I want to build this relationship. I want to plant seeds. Can I plant seeds? Is it safe to plant seeds in your garden? Tor uh, a cap a Sagittarius. Is it safe? Am I safe to drop my romantic feelings on you? Is it safe? Tell me, please. Is it safe for them to drop their feelings and to go into this deep place with you? And what will most likely happen? Is it safe? They're checking it out. They want to know if you're safe. This is magician, but it came out in reverse. Maybe someone sees you as not safe. Maybe they're taking their time to see if, the, if there's something about you. Something about you, they, they're, they're having trouble. Tell me about the magician in reverse. That is showing up as they're not so sure you can manifest with them. They're trying to figure out that's the Eight of Pentacles. That might be an earth sign holding back. Someone's hurting. They have romantic feelings for you. This is a past person. They know that it's not working. They know that you have a new start. They know that there was a tower moment. They know that uh, you may not be doing working with them at this time. That's also something here. Tell me about that. Yeah, someone's someone was, is, or could be juggling someone else having romantic feelings and that someone's hurting. The Ten of Wands is in reverse, meaning someone, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, really desperately wants to put down this burden and pick up this Nine of Cups. You really are their wish fulfillment. What are they going to do? They're coming your way probably, but right now they're pulled back. They're pulled back because they're trying to figure out and learn to be educated spiritually. And they might be a little selfish, true. So they have romantic feelings for you. But your true love is the one that's gonna you're going to know instantly. They're going to bring healing and insight. Even if someone has romantic um, feelings for you and you have many admirers, okay? And it is safe to love. You have to be decisive as to who can come into your energy, what they're bringing forth, watching red flags, and being careful, all right? Because you have already been through being put out. You're done being put out. You're done. So you may have put someone out in there in time out, but they love you. They are, they think you're the one, but they made a mistake. Yeah, there you are. You're holding your own. You're being temperate. You're like, nope, 
not falling for the wrong one. I'm in this healing phase, and I'm, I think I've met my true love, which could easily be a page of wands. There's someone coming to you with energy for you. <clears throat> a message. But you're holding back just a bit. You're protecting your energy and your resources and your fortune. Nobody gets that shit without being the right one, right? No one comes to you with the Five of Swords. No one. No one, bitches. Don't come in my space causing me to be all up in my head because you're digging on me. Stop sending me bad juju. Stop sending me psychic thoughts. Stop invading my sleep. Stop into this magician over here. Invading my sleep. Stop doing magic on me. Or I may have to cut a bitch off. Knight of Swords. Coming in real quick with a message or the truth or something. And what happens? Well, someone may be in love with you. They may be trying to, you know, break your boundaries and bring you a successful relationship. But you don't trust them. Seven of Swords is in reverse. You've seen that before. You're done with that shit. The moon, keeping secrets, doing moon magic, hiding things from you. What else? The Four of Swords and healing. So you yourself are your true love. You may be getting to know someone, again, that, that comes out of the blue from the past, but you are loving yourself. And no matter what this person's intentions are, you're still going to hold back. You don't want to give this to anybody undeserving. So good for you. All right. Here's what I want to see. What are the, uh, what are the circumstances here showing up for my Saggies? Sagittarius, someone rising Venus, what is their circumstance showing up? What do you see, please? Milk and honey, milk and honey. Wow. The land of milk and honey. Look at that, kids. 51, you're waiting for the right thing. You're waiting for that rain over the rainbow thing. You better bring it. Don't you bring this shit. Don't you come here act, putting on acting like a fool in my life. Hell no. You ain't getting nowhere with me on that. I don't need a fool. I already have a, I'm a king or a queen. I don't need a fool. One more, please. No place like home. You're staying safe. You're staying safe in your heart. You're staying safe in your own territory. And um, who's guiding you through this process? Let's see. December 4, uh, my wonderful Sagis. Guess what? Lady Portia. You are trusting in divine order now, and you're keeping your mind clear. You're making your mind over to be sacred, sacred individual. Um, do what you feel is right, Sagittarius. An important lesson is unfolding here for you. And it looks like I'm going to take the top one. Look at the colors, you see? Spirit said take it. See? Sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find your true bliss. So that's your message. But let's see how you're doing with everybody else, okay? Let's see how that turns out for you. Put these all up. And get you and everybody else on the same page. Find out how energies are working for you or against you with specific people, All right? Aries to Pisces, let's go. Thanks for your patience, love you. You know I'm worth it. Hit that like button, please. Hit that like button, please. Hit the like button, please. There's knowledge here for somebody, whether it be for you or somebody else. Someone's gonna be edified and encouraged by this reading. Sagittarius, someone rising. Venus, my loves, my sweet loves. Sagittarius, let's, let's take a look. One more here. I'm going to use the other deck. for. Uh, oh, I meant to bring you an outcome on all that stuff. Hold on. Moonology outcome for my Saggies. Sagittarius in December. Confidence is a key to your success. Yeah? Also, the answers you need are coming, so just so fret not, babies. And step out of your comfort zone. Something has to be done to correct, to follow your north node, to follow your, your true north, right? Always, always. Um, before I check on that, let me give you a word from the Lord. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. It seems like a universal law that the Apostle Paul was making here, right? Okay, so cause and effect. Sagittarius, someone rising Venus. Let's see. Aries to Pisces for Sagittarius. 
I like doing this. I wish I had myself organized, but I have a new microphone. I have a new setup. I have a new camera. A lot of things are changing. So I just roll with it so I don't uh, cause myself unnecessary dilemma just trying to bring these beautiful messages. And thank you for your love and support and gifts. If you haven't joined me on Instagram, Robin's Realm Readings. TikTok, Robin's Realm Readings. Facebook, Robin's Realm Readings. Okay. Uh, ooh, Ari started the program. That's how I've been doing it. Wow, let me shuffle that up. Okay. Aries came in as willing to work on this relationship with you. Sagittarius, um, they're going to put in the hard work, perhaps, or they're putting in hard work somewhere. See, their, their heart is in it. So you have an Aries who's willing to work with you. All right, to work on your goals. Or the heart this is a good offer. Taurus, now, nah. there's deceit, and then there's guarded energies here. I think you're guarding against their lies. Yeah, you're not in the mood for that. You're just you're not accepting what they have because whoever this is that I'm reading for, they did you wrong. You're like, no, I don't feel you anymore. I don't feel you anymore. Gemini and Sagittarius, death, change, transformation, bad magic. Gemini's have been doing some bad juju on people. Sagittarius and Scorpio in particular, and I'm getting pissed about it. I'm going to have to call them out on that shit. Yeah, see? They're, you're trying to protect your energy from somebody who's sending you bad juju, a Gemini, tell me. Um, and you're protecting your energy from them, so do that, okay? Here we have Cancer, energy. They're single. They're stable. They're making money. They are offering love to you. This may be your spouse for some of you. That's not a bad idea, but you don't trust them. You think that they're deceptive. They may have a lot of money. You may have a Cancer trying to pull the wool over on you. Leo. Nope. Ten of cups in reverse. Not happy. They like to talk too much or they like to run in and out, speak things that they should not say that hurt you. Yep. Just very bad energy. Negative, negative, negative energy. Sorry. Virgo and Sag. Five of swords in reverse. Hell no. Oh. Some of you are in the outs with your soulmate. Because they're comparing you to other people. They're very immature and he's real close to the devil right here. The tower moment. There was a tower moment in a love situation with a Virgo. Why? Because of this five of swords and because they were acting like a damn ass fool and holding back their energy from you and being a bitch. They didn't want to let you go. Put you all up in your head and had you in a worried state. Sagittarian, put you, you put them in hangman. You're like, bye. I'm done. I got I to gotta hang out and chill out. So you have a Virgo that messed with you. Oh, my God. You may be able to repair that. Um, Libra. Justice. There they are. Justice. But they might be blocked. They might be indecisive right now. Yeah, they might be indecisive. They can't decide why. They're all, they're, but they're spying on you, babies. They want to know how to come forward. They're trying to figure out how to come forward to you and make an offer to you. Uh, but it's not a strong offer, but they're hurting over you really bad. Someone has a Libra that wants to come forward and make recompense and save the relationship. Scorpio, now, Knight of Wands in reverse, they turned around and went the other way. Yes, they did. They took their energy and their money and their time with them. And they're restless over you because you were their Ten of Pentacles, but now you are not. Hmm? Sagittarius and Sagittarius, excuse me. Six of Pentacles in reverse. No, no. It's not going to be a good reciprocity at this time. Someone's not. They're coming with love, but love doesn't pay the bills. That's what I heard. And so you're in your head over this, and you're going to make sure that there's boundaries in this relationship if you continue to go forward with another Sagittarian. You're going to be disciplined in boundaries and have your facts straight. And just... Just have limits, right? Capricorn, burdens, walls are up, not happening, tired. Yep, uh, they, they burn you out, they treat you like shit, they talk poorly to you, They this is not good. Aquarius, heartbreak in reverse. Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Cups. 
I think you, some of you are missing very much a beautiful Aquarian, but they might have had a third party. Um, but you want to get victory with them. Why? Because they left you out in the cold. They took their sex and their love elsewhere, and their, their offer elsewhere, and you're missing them. So some of you are dying over an Aquarian, don't have any peace of mind. And here you are, just absolutely in your passion for this Aquarius, but this Aquarius isn't, isn't even visible in your felt. Whoever you are, this Aquarius is gone, and she should let them go. Release, release, release. Have confidence that God will give you something more divine. Okay, so you got to release so that you can receive whoever this is I'm talking to. Last but not least, Pisces. No, no, I'll tell you in a second. Okay, Pisces, uh, you don't have faith in this Pisces. They were two time and they were your emperor. Some of you, your actual divine masculine was. Um, weighing you against someone else, uh, Sagittarius, they were cheating with an earth sign perhaps. It put them in the down, the down. They were not in their uh, godly state. They were in their their demor no, demoralized state. And there's, they're trying to get themselves back right with God, this Pisces, for the mistake they made. They're confessing their sins is what I hear. And they're trying to come back to you. What will they do? They want to come back. They have to come back. This Pisces has a contract with you. They need to live it out with you. And you're up in the upside down. You're not sure. You're not, you don't have any patience for that unless they come forward with an absolute solid offer and everything makes sense and nothing is in the way. Nothing, nothing, nothing. King of Wands in reverse. Someone gave, up, gave it up to someone, but they couldn't take their heart away from you. You are their love. They can't reach you. They can't communicate with you, but you're their true love. Some of you, it's a Pisces, and they are learning their lesson in the background. I think it's up to God, right, if that works out. Let me know if you'd like a private reading. I'm doing some specials. Um, $22.22 .22 for a full breakthrough love reading for you, or $33.33 .33 for... Well, that's the breakthrough reading. Love readings are 22 22 But the breakthrough reading is going to tell you about patterns, healings, future blessings, guides for you specifically, what shows up and what you need to be watching out for. I'm here to help you find that stuff and for yourself personally. And if you'd like that, you get a free spray bottle of sacred anointing oil. And you missed it on yourself so that when you go to do read for yourself or get your reading or work with someone else in healing work, you're anointed and protected and no weapon formed against you prospers. I wish you love and healing, abundance. Let me know. The more likes I get, the more shares I get on these videos, the more people get a chance to heal because of the divine blessing that comes through me. Anointed High Priest, I thank you for your presence. Thank you for your love and gifts. Hope you have a wonderful holiday. Sagittarians.